What's up guys and welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial. Today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add your own shapeless crafting recipe. And a shapeless crafting recipe is different to a crafting recipe as you can put it anywhere in the crafting table. So to make a fire charge you need coal, blaze powder and something else and they can go anywhere and you'll still get a uh, fire charge. And same for wool, you can put the wool and the colour dye anywhere in the crafting table and you'll, you will get uh, whatever colour wool you want. So to, so to add your own uh, shapeless crafting recipe, you need to add this line into your common proxy file and the register render information. So uh, if you haven't seen how to set up Forge and how to set up and prepare your mods classes then don't check those videos out because you'll need them to get started so what you need to do you need to type in game registry the capital R game registry dot and then if, if you're using the clips you can see there's add shapeless shapeless recipe you should go ahead and click on that okay? and it'll put this game registry add shapeless recipe and then two brackets, output and parameters. So at the end of this you can put a colon just to end that off and in this input what you will need to type you'll need to do new item stack no space new item stack open brackets and then you want to choose the item you want so I'm going to go ahead and give myself an item so this is going to be whichever item you want to craft so I'm going to choose let's say a diamond so diamond and you can also do a block so if I just go ahead and delete this bit you can do block dot and then you should do block dot dirt which is just dirt and you should also do one of your blocks you should do whatever these this bit here which is the the variable you've called your block so forge block you should do flower forge item shiny item so you should also put shiny item in there and that's will be fine as I said I'm going to do item dot diamond and now in this par parameters bit you'll need to add a new object uh, I think that's not a capsule though. I'm not sure yeah, just new object, then you do the square brackets, and then after that, you need to do uh, squiggly brackets, like like this. Once you've done the squiggly brackets, then you can do new item stack open brackets, and whatever you put inside here is going to be one of the item items in your shape of recipe. So. I'm going to put a forge block in there, so just to show you, you can work with your blocks. And then what you need to do, you need to go ahead and copy all of that new item stack forge block. Go ahead and copy, put a comma in, and paste that in. And out where's the where the forge block was, you need to add your uh, second item that's going to be in it. I could do forge, so multi block. Let's just do that. And then, if you want another third item in your shapeless recipe, you can go ahead and uh, do new item stack open brackets, and you should do block dot dirt. And you should also do another one, so new item stack open brackets item dot arrow. So now that's done, you shouldn't get any errors. As you can see, no errors, and you can go ahead and run Minecraft, and I'll be back once Minecraft is launched. So I'm back, and let's just go ahead and test out this shapeless crafting recipe. So I've got my forge block, that's one of the items needed. I've got my mold texture block, I've got an arrow, and I've got a piece of dirt. As you can see, a diamond. You can put it anywhere, any of them, anywhere there, and you get a diamond. So that's going to be it for this tutorial, di tutorial guys. Uh, if you if it was helpful uh, and it helped you with your mods or learning how to mod, 
then please subscribe to my channel and give the video a like. If you want more Forge tutorials, then subscribe to my channel. And I do a lot of Forge tutorials, and there'll be a lot more coming out soon. So that's me for this, guys. Peace.